Hey everyone, and we're here at Windows Report, and in this video we will talk about the latest Windows 11 update build for the dev and beta channels, and that's the build 22616, which honestly doesn't include any significant features, but there are some things worth mentioning and talking about. But before jumping in, this is a reminder from Microsoft that the window for switching from dev channel to the beta channel is closing soon, so make sure to decide what channel you want to stay on. That means we're getting really close to a big update. So if you want to switch from dev to beta, just press the Windows button, then select the settings icon, and afterwards on the left pane, make sure to choose Windows Update. And then on the right side, click on the Windows Insider Program category. Lastly, select Choose your Insider settings, then simply click on the beta channel, and the next time you receive an update, it will be for your new channel. Ok, so let's jump in. As you can see, another reminder from Microsoft, the watermark at the lower right hand corner of the desktop is still no longer present. So that's good news, but it seems like Microsoft wants to press the fact that this watermark might come back, so don't get your hopes too high. Moving on, as a result of some user feedback from Windows Insiders, Microsoft decided to disable any changes made to the system tray introduced in the build 22581. So the system tray and the show hidden icons flyout will now function the same way it did before like with the original release of Windows 11, including the ability to rearrange icons in the flyout, taking things and then giving them back, a bit confusing, but it's good to see it back nevertheless. And lastly, another great feature, Windows insiders who game on their PCs with an Xbox controller in the builds of dev and beta channels can now try out the new controller bar feature. As stated, the controller bar is a preview of a new view of Xbox Game Bar that provides easy, controller-friendly access to recently played games and game launchers. So that means that when you connect an Xbox controller to your Windows 11, the controller bar will open with access to the latest games you play so you can jump in right into the gaming sessions. Now coming to fixes, a few quick mentions, this update fixed an issue where performance of explorer.exe degraded over time, eventually resulting in a bug check in the recent preview build. Moving on, in the settings section, this update fixed an issue that could cause quick settings to crash when projecting to certain wireless devices. And lastly, in the task manager, another fix was done and it relates to an issue that was causing the process list to fluctuate between apps and background groups when clicking on efficiency mode from the command bar. And that's it, a short update with not so many significant things, but nevertheless making Windows 11 better and better. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.